Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a split page layout in your Squarespace website. We're going to do this with an individual page section so we show the image on half and the content on the other half of the page. We're also going to reset it on mobile so that the content will be on top of the image just as it's designed to be. Now, all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but there are some important parts that you're going to need to change. So let's hop into my demo site and I'll show you how to set this up. So here we are in my demo site and I want to mention something interesting when we get started here. Not a lot of Squarespacers are aware of this, but there are actually three layers to every page section. There's the entire page section itself, but that page section has a section background and a content wrapper. What we're going to do is make both of those take up half of the screen size and set them side by side. I also want to mention this code is specifically for anything larger than a mobile device, larger than 640 pixels in width. It will reset on a mobile device to have the content wrapper on top of the section background. Alrighty, so here's the code that we're going to use. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and you'll see here, this is the page section we're going to apply this to. Let's hop into design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now I'm going to paste the code and you'll notice right away, nothing happens. <laughs> That's because we need to isolate just this one section. I don't want this to happen to every section on my page, just this one right here. So in this sample code, I have data section ID and we're going to replace that with the data section ID. I use a Chrome extension, a free Chrome extension to grab this information. I'm not affiliated with them, but I'll link them in the description below. I've got the data section ID. Now here in my code, I'm just going to paste that here and paste it here. And you'll notice immediately we've got the image on the left and the content on the right, but the content is white text on a white background. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more code here and say, background color, we'll give it a, a dark gray. There we go. Now we can see the content. So we have the image on the left taking up half of the screen and the content on the right with its own unique background color. Now let's check out the full width version of our site here. Everything looks awesome. And if we hop into mobile view, you'll see that the text is now on top of the image. We're not getting that split screen difference. Okay. Pretty cool. Now you might be wondering, all right, what if I want the text on the left and the image on the right? How do we do that? It's a pretty simple fix. I'm going to grab this code right here that says margin left, and I'm going to move it up to the section background. Now down here, I'm going to say margin left zero important. And there we go. We now have the content on the left and the image on the right. And if we go to full screen, we'll see the split, take it back down and go to mobile. And again, the content is on top of the image on a mobile device. Now, whatever layout you go with, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. So again, those codes are listed below, both of the codes so we can have the content on the left or the content on the right. So make sure you grab the right one. And I do have a link to that Chrome extension that I just used also listed below. Not affiliated with them in any way, just a fan. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Give me a like if you enjoyed it and comment below if you plan on using the split screen option or layout inside your Squarespace website. It's a pretty fun one out there. Feel free to post a link to your awesome creation. Thank you so much for watching and definitely subscribe to my channel if you wanna learn something new every single week because I post a brand new tutorial every Tuesday. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.